Hello folks, Whiskey here with another unboxing and initial review. This time I've got the Steam Link and the Steam Controller, two items I'm particularly excited about. I'm glad I've got them now. The only preparation that I've done tonight is other than setting this uh, area up. I've installed a few games on my main rig as a sort of prep. So let's, uh, let's get to the unboxing, shall we? I'm going to start with the Steam Link. Cover slides off. Uh, looks like there's a fancy schematic on the inside. I might have to have a look at that in a bit. But right now, I'm more interested in what's in the box. And that is absolutely tiny. That is the Steam Link. Wow. <laughs> I expected it to be larger, I will not lie. We've got one, two, three USB ports on there, a HDMI port, a Ethernet port, and a power socket. So I'm just put that there for a minute. I just realized I've got a black cloth with a black product. Not my best move inside the rest of the box quick start guide and steam link product guide probably health and safety underneath that we've got another box i'm going to just drop that down there and oh do, 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 do. Uh oh cut cut oh my lovely assistant has just come in to help me out with a pair of keys so i didn't plan this far ahead there we go open this one up oh every single power adapter or uh, configuration under the sun right and then in here we have power supply oh hdmi cable comes provided that's nice Ooh, and an ethernet cable uh ribbon as well so that's quite nice anything else in the box nothing no instructions, that's always good. Plug in and play, I suppose. Okay, so I am in the UK, so I do not need those. Nor do I need the American one, and I am going to guess it just slides off. Like that. Slide your country adapter in of choice. And we are going to plug this in. Tangling done, straight into the back. Oh, we have some lights, so we know there's power. I have a rather obnoxiously white or cream Ethernet cable right there, so that's plugged in. Steam is already ready downstairs. I don't need that because I have got one in the back of my monitor OK already. And we're going to plug that in. Let's get that out of the way. Well, it's already updating, so that's off to a flying start. All right, so we're on to the next stage of the setup. When you first plugged it in, it downloaded some updates, as you'd kind of expect from uh, Steam, which is great, that's fine. Now it's asking for either a keyboard or mouse, a conventional controller, or the Steam controller. So, I have a Steam controller. I'm going to open it up and uh, take a look. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, and that is a really odd shape. So, the particular shape, it's, most controllers have a um, convex outer side. This has a concave. Everything kind of goes in, which is very, which is unusual if you're not used to it. It's, um, it's going to take some getting used to, I think, that initial, initial feel compared to like the Xbox controllers and PlayStation controllers. What we got on the back? Uh, three buttons aside, bumper, trigger, and another sort of grip pad the two touchpad controls analog stick four buttons and then start home button and whatever what you would normally associate with most controllers these days so uh, let's get some batteries I'm gonna have a look at the rest of the box and uh, oh, there's some stuff in here more stuff in the box I completely forgot about the other stuff in the box little dongle which I assume is going to be for the connecting it to the controller. We have, I don't know what that is. It looks like an adapter of some sort. Um, quick start guide. So I'm gonna have a quick look at the manual rather than guessing. So it's really quite simple. Right, this is simply an extension. If you're, uh, your Steam box is hidden behind some stuff and you need a little extra 
range, that's not a problem. So we're going to take the control off. There's a button on the bottom here. Slide it across and that, that pops off. And there we have our controllers going the side. Controllers are batteries, which they kindly provided. So the button is in normally at the upright position. You place the battery in and then the catch comes down. I don't know if you want to zoom in on that one. I'll redo it. Place the battery in. The catch comes down to release the battery, pull the catch up. Bit complicated for what it uh, really needs to be, but such is the nature. I'm going to reconnect this. Yep. And then I am going to place my controller or my dongle into the back of here and at which point I press this and hold it for three seconds or something let's get this out of the way so you can see the screen again there we go and we are on and we are now flashing are we going to connect because it doesn't really give you much more instructions than that there we go look at that we're on to the start menu we're on to initial setup this is going flyingly so I've never used this let's have a look doesn't do anything at the moment All right so we're on to analog stick my Dutch isn't good enough, so I'm going to stick with English. My Dutch friends are going to just shout at me now and go, you should have learned by now. Don't need that box either. So, okay, so Steam Link setup. Select a computer running Steam on your local network. Whiskey PC. All right, that's the one. Enter this pin on Whiskey PC. Whiskey PC is downstairs, so I'll be right back. Right, so I've been downstairs, I've synced uh, the PC, I entered the pin. We're on my desktop. So, don't want to be on my desktop, this is supposed to be Steam Link. So I'm going to press the Steam Controller Home button. And boom! We have a Steam Big Picture. Which is a lot easier to navigate. So, let's have a look, shall we? Go to the library. We want to get straight into a game. Uh, I'm going to... It's Steam, uh, it's Half-Life, okay, cool, gives you a warning, uh, controller configuration required, this game wasn't designed for controllers, but you can play it with your Steam controller, the game may show keyboard hints during the gameplay, so it hasn't been optimised for the, uh, the controller, but it is a first person shooter, and you're supposed to be able to play first person shooters, so, being a Valve game, I want to play it. While playing, you can press the Steam button any time to bring up the overlay and customise your controller configuration. The rest of it is the same message as before, so let's give that a go. First time controller setup. Aha, we're getting all the menus now. Since this is your first time launching this game with the Steam controller, we recommend selecting a configuration template. You can always change this later from your template selection. Right, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, templates. We have got gamepad with high precision camera aim, gamepad, standard gamepad support, keyboard, w -D -A -W wazard, WASD, and mouse. So, template works great for the games on Steam that were designed for keyboard and mouse. Right, so at the moment, we will do uh, gamepad with high precision camera aim. Um, oh, the gamepad in mine. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, whoops. Right. We'll start with the gamepad. We can change it in 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 game, so that's not a problem. So now this is actually running on my main PC uh, downstairs. And we're in big picture mode, so I can access the community. Hopefully, I won't get too many messages. I think I remember to stay signed out. So, as the game loads, yeah. so at the moment I can't do much because it's in. A different mode it's in gamepad mode so if i press that button i can then go to configure controller and there's all my different controllers i can browse configurations by pressing x and i can change it to oh community created binds i don't want community the community can uh do its thing right so wasd mode and they, these are the controls that kind of correspond so, what we got here? 
their weapon controls. That's your movement. You look around. Tap is used, so it does have tap controls. Various con bits and pieces. We can figure out as we go. No, I don't. I don't want to configure. Oh, I want done. Right. And then return to game. So now I can control my mouse, which is uh, fairly self-explanatory. Okay, it's a new game. It's a little bit, bit difficult to control with the mouse. If you had a controller, uh, the the game that supported the menu interactions with a controller, it'd be a lot easier, as you'd expect. But I want to play Half-Life Two. Okay. Okay, so remembering where I'm going and what I'm doing. Oop, it's a bit weird to control. Oh, yep. We know how much Valve likes its physics product, physics props. Maybe not quite as smooth as a uh, keyboard and mouse would be. But then, oh, starting to sink. Let me out. I think someone comes along to rescue me. If memory serves, maybe. Or am I gonna have to? Oh, there we go. Hello, Alex. So it feels. I don't know. Using it as a mouse is a bit bizarre. I will admit. I'm just going to go start. I'm going to just have a look at options because I'm sure there is controller support in these. Okay, so I quickly configured it as a gamepad. So now we're playing it as, as if this is a analog stick as opposed to a mouse. Don't get all choked up. Okay, so initial impressions with I'm only at the beginning, I haven't actually got into combat. For a first person shooter, this would take some getting used to. Uh, I think it'll be quite good once you get used to it. I mean, there's a degree of control that I don't think you would have in uh, some of the other bits. But it is still something you'd have to spend some time getting used to. All right, I'm going to beat him up because beat him up's always good. Not necessarily configured for this game again. There aren't going to be many games. I think the Rocket League, which uh, should be available um, by the time this video uh, goes live. So I'm going to pick a uh, gamepad. I'm going to play. So going for the standard gamepad configuration on this one. Okay, so this game has a launcher and it's decided to, you know, full screen the launcher. Again, we're straight in. It's on standard controller mode, so I can skip everything. Ugh. Right, had a bit of a cut there because I had to faff with Windows Live. Got to hate the thing. I can't wait till they actually kill it. I'm going to put this back into uh, gamepad mode. And I want gamepad, there we go. So fairly straightforward, it'd be nicer if it went straight to the menu and the community stuff decided to do one. So, let's show, see how bad I am at this. Uh, yeah, go on then. Let's go with a character, I kind of have a bit of an idea how some of the moves work. And let's see how well it, how well it feels. For some reason my mouse is, I don't want to watch... Can I skip this? Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Cheesy as ever.
I can sort of remember some of the moves. I have no idea what I'm doing there. Oh yeah. So, yeah. I think the buttons are a bit small compared to some of the other controllers, which makes it a bit strange. Oh. I don't know what the bumper button's supposed to do. Oh. Go for the Martin Bash attack. There we go. Done. So, beat him up. Controller. I don't know. Can't say I like it for the size of the buttons and their position. But then, I am so much used to other controllers. Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it won't. We'll have to see. Okay. The last thing I want to try is the keyboard and mouse mode. Uh, for the strategy, so to speak. So this time I want keyboard and mouse. So this is if I were playing a strategy game. So, so I'm using the keyboard. Single player. So the trigger is the left mouse click. You have got a click option there, but it doesn't seem to be the other thing. Leave it on the default and just go for it. Okay, so I'm not overly happy with the fact that one of the mouse clicks is on the trigger for the, the strategy mode. So I'm going to quickly change it. In the keyboard and mouse mode, I'm going to go to the mouse and the click is used, which is E. Not very useful, really, because only a few games use that. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to change the binding, which was quite simple, really. Just through a menu, got a few other bits. Something I also mentioned about the controller is that the it's got uh, tactile feedback. So I move and there's a click. You probably can't hear it, but it's a it, there's a bit of a vibration to the controller, but it's not like overbearing. So now that I've got click on left, there we go. So the idea is this is just to see what like playing a strategy game would be a bit like with the keyboard and mouse. So that's a track. Similar to a mouse wheel. Not sure how to move my screen on here, though, mind you. Aha, that's a bit better. Okay, so getting used to the controls. I think this particular setup would take a bit of getting used to. So let's see if I can build a metal extractor. I think I just completely missed. Nope, there we go. Building a metal extractor. So, I've given it a quick go. My initial feed, uh, initial impressions of the Steam Controller is it's a bit... It's going to take some getting used to. It's a very strange controller. It's very different from what you're used to. The cursor controls, the, the, the mouse pad and these bits, it's different. It's not what you're used to. This, this behaves as you'd expect. Um, and not just about in the game, but in general. It's just a bit different. Will it grow on me? Possibly. I remember when the Xbox controller very first came out. For the first Xbox. when, well, In fact, I remember when the PlayStation controller came out. And it was so radically different from every other controller that had been really to date. 
you know, before that we had a, a few buttons, then all of a sudden we get analog sticks, dual analog sticks, because the N64 only had one and it was a very bizarre um, controller, all told. Setup and connection's been painless. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think my game might have crashed. Ah, okay. Don't know what happened there. Possibly planetly, planetary annihilation, or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, planetary annihilation. Hmm. I think my, uh, something on my network might have had a brain fart. Everything seems to be back to where it should be. It's bothering me about a firm update now. So there's a firmware for the controller that needs updating. Um, that has to be plugged into the computer. You can't do it through Steam Link. So there is on the back a USB port. Anyway, well, well, before I was rudely interrupted by the game deciding to have a bit of a fa uh, spaz. It's different. It's very different. Will it grow on me? I don't know. I'd have to actually play some, spend more time on it. I think it worked fine as a basic controller. For first-person games, it's going to take some definite practice. Uh, the Steam Link, though, uh, works as advertised, straight out of the box. It plugged in. It worked. I had absolutely no problems with that, so that's got my thumbs up. Uh, I can also plug conventional controllers into it. So if the Steam, Link, uh, Steam controller does kind of not grow on me, I can still use my conventional controllers. I've been Whiskey. I hope that's been a bit of a... Used to you, and I'll see you next time.